Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Today we're going to take a look at using Timely Fragments. Fragments are a way to bring in portions of HTML code into your Timely templates. So what I have here is an application that I developed for a, for a series on my blog covering Spring Boot and building a web application within Spring Boot. And I wanted to have a common menu and a common look and feel to it. So I need to bring in HTML resources for that and then a common menu bar across the application. This is the application here. We can see it. I've got a this all using Bootstrap CSS. I've got a home button, then I, I have a, a products tab. I can go in and list products. I can, can view the product. You can see how these are different pages, but the theme and styling are staying consistent. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm going to toggle over to IntelliJ. Let's take a look at the index page. This very simple index page, and what I did, you'll see there's two HTML comments there, and they're bringing in different fragments. And these are timely comments. The timely technology engine picks these up and brings these in. The first comment there where it says include fragments header ink, it's looking for a fragment called head. So let's take a look at that. It maps over to the, the folder fragments and header. I'm sorry, and header ink. And we can see at, at the top there in line three, we have a timely fragment of head. And it's telling telling the template engine to bring in that stuff there. And that, that's just some links to the, the Bootstrap CSS and jQuery. And then also my custom CSS style sheet. Next piece would be the, the menu. So if we go back over this one saying fragments header. And the fragment name is header. So now we have header HTML. And we're looking for header. In this case, we have a, a timely fragment of header, and it's this portion of code here, of HTML code, that will get brought in by, by timely into our template engine. If I view this in the browser, so this is the actual fragment in the browser, we can see how that's viewed. But this is just one of the product pages, so you can see there's no styling there when I, I bring up the products list. But when it's run from localhost, I have Tomcat running on localhost and this application deployed in it via Spring Boot, we can see that we get all the styling there. And I'm going to do a view source on this so we can see how this was brought in. So you can see my, my original Timeleaf template only had a comment, and from that fragment, that portion has been brought in. And the other comment, brought in this portion for the nav bar, bootstrap nav bar. Using time leaf templates is a, a very handy way to bring in common components that you're going to have on your web page. When you start developing web pages, you can get into a lot of code duplication, and you definitely don't want to be doing that across all your web pages. When you have these common components, they become an ideal candidate for using a time leaf template so that when the time leaf templating engine can render these pieces of HTML together and so you have common components across your web pages.